joined by Crows assistant coach Marty Matner. Matt, Marty, can you tell us about uh, the breakdown of groups and what the benefits are of that and obviously getting to work a little bit more intimately with your defenders? Yeah, so today um, we've, I guess, decided to, to break up into our line groups. Um, so this morning the boys had a meeting inside. We reviewed some and watched some vision from uh, training on Saturday and also from the last couple of games. And then I guess an opportunity now to then work. So me and Brent Riley, development coach and the defenders, uh, we were able to come out here and train with our group. So we had about 14, I think, defenders. So it was quite a you know, tight little group, which is good, but we can sort of identify some areas we need to work on, some stuff we're doing really well. And we are able to train it for about an hour, which is really pleasing. And what's the message to the assistant coaches? You've got Nixie sort of overseeing it all. Have you been sort of directed just to purely focus on your group or is it sort of a little bit of crossover? What's that look like? Yeah, so I guess, um, yeah, we, we, I guess, designed the drills last night and what we wanted to get our training as a defensive group, me and Brent Riley. So, and then, yeah, the other coaches are out here helping out. So we'll, um, you know, we'll help Mick do some midfield stuff and Paul Thomas and then the forwards are out here now warming up. So we'll just help out wherever we need. It might be kicking footies in, getting them ready. But I guess the line coaches identify what they need to work on. They do everything they do in their line. But it's a good opportunity, I guess, to spend some time just with intimate little groups in terms of, uh, you know, 14 to 15 blokes. What's it feeling like amongst the club at the moment? It's obviously a weird and uncertain time in the world. What's the general vibe around the place? Is it business as usual or are there slight small differences amongst the group? What's the what's the overall feel? Uh, I think it's business as usual. Um, yeah, there's still, a, there's still a bit uncertainty going around, I guess. But, yeah, we are planning to play on Saturday and looking forward to it. Uh, what's the... Like, what, what happens from here in terms of team selection, match committee, training? Can you talk us through what the rest of the week looks like leading into Saturday? Yeah, the, the rest of the week is, is pretty normal. Um, you know, boys will train today, they'll come off the track, they do their weights, which they normally would do. Uh, tomorrow's a day off and then Thursday's our main session, um, which will, you know, with coaching, um, afterwards will be selection, match committee, all those sorts of things, and then preparing for Saturday. So um, even though it is different, so I guess there is a bit of uncertainty, it's still a preparation ready for round one. Uh, Basically, sitting on Saturday, what are the focus areas there? What do we need to sort of look at? Uh, obviously, their forward line, there's some potential outs. Can you talk us through what the opposition looks like? Yeah, so I guess um, still a bit uncertain about their team. I think they've got a couple of guys who, you know, Sam Reid played a little bit in their pre-season, hasn't played much. Hope he might come back in. Um, you know, they've got Sam Naismith, who's come back as a ruck. So Sinclair's been playing forward, especially for my line in the defenders. So there's a couple of new things, I guess, different to what they did last year. Um, you know, there's also, I guess, with us, us, it's all about our consistency. We felt like we played a good half here or a quarter or two here. So um, our focus over the last couple of weeks has been about our consistency and how we get that into a game and get a four-quarter effort. Fisher Mack, is he really impressed in that Marsh 2 game? And he's sort of, uh, Nicky said he was close to selection, but not quite there yet. What's he done on the track? Uh, is he impressed? Has he sort of not put a foot wrong? Where's he at? Yeah, he, he's been very impressive. Uh, hasn't really put a foot wrong at all. Um, he's a... He's quite a keen guy. He wants to learn and get better, which is great for a young kid coming into the program. Um, he's worked really close with Daniel Talia and Kyle Hardigan and the key defenders and, and the coaches as well. But, yeah, he's, he's a ripping kid. He's going he's gonna to be a really good player and hopefully gets an opportunity in round one. And young Ace Taylor, I think he was with the defenders earlier, probably joined the group on Friday, and it's been a weird introduction for him. What's he sort of brought to the group and what's his energy like? Yeah, so he played on Saturday. You know, we played sort of a, a match sim type uh, drill for about 25 to 30 minutes, um, and he was quite impressive. Uh, he's got some got some elite speed and some and some good uh, attributes to him. He's um, good size as well. So, yeah, he, he's fitted in quite nicely. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, I guess, week and a bit that he's been here. But I'm um, looking forward to what he can provide to us in the within the group and especially the defenders. Well, thanks for your time, Marty. No, thank you.